So firstly, I hope you're all at home safe and well uh, and not getting too bored. Uh, we're up at my shared allotment and uh, I was doing a little bit of work on this bed this morning and it came to me that actually this would work quite well uh, as an opportunity to show you a, a couple of little tips about bunker play so that when we get back out on the golf course in the not too distant future you'll be ready to get out of those bunkers with no problems. Quite often we'll hear issues with a golfer that's either taking too much sand or not enough sand so they either hit the ball not far enough or they thin it straight into the, 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 the face of the bunker and quite often that comes from the same issue. So if we look at the characteristics of a spade we see a sharp leading edge and a very flattened back edge. So if I'm looking to dig the ground, I can push that sharp leading edge with enough force, creating the, enough pressure to break the soil. If I wanted to flatten out the ground, then I'd use a back edge and I'd be able to smooth it out. Now, when we look at our sand wedge, we've got that recognizable sharp leading edge, and then we've got the sole unit, which is a much broader, flatter part of the golf club. And this is the part of the golf club that we want to be seen using in the bunker. Quite often, a player that's using too much of the leading edge will start off hitting it nowhere and then they'll try not to hit the sand and that's when they'll start thinning it. So I like to imagine that if the face was a, a mirror and I was trying to keep myself face to face looking straight back at myself in the mirror, that will keep the trailing edge to the ground. My old boss used to say as well, if we took a black marker pen and we blacked out that trail edge and your job was to rub that off through the sand, that's a really nice piece of advice as well. So there are a few other things that we needed to consider in bunkers, but we can cover them at another time. Definitely working this sole unit through the sand is very important. So as I stand over the ball on this earth, I'm trying to allow that trail edge to work through the ground. I've got my flag set up, we'll give it a go. So stay safe. Please do update us with any videos or questions that you have. My Twitter is Surbiton Pro Shop. So ping us over any videos with any success and there'll be a few tips on uh, following this video.